Hey howdy, hey partners. Today we're going to do a repair on Woody. Let's get into it. Reach for the sky. You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond. Excited to be back here again. I'm doing a favor for a partner who needed help with their Woody and I'm fixing it up. I already did a nice cleaning job. So if you haven't seen that, click the card here in the corner of your screen. It'll take you to how I cleaned him up first. So now that he's all clean, he's ready for a restoration. I'm not doing a movie accurate mod on this Woody. I'm only simply trying to restore it. Now this boot is in great condition. Unfortunately, this boot is not. It is very chewed up and uh, missing the bottom boot plate. So lucky for this partner, <laughs> I actually have an extra spare collection boot because I mod so many woodies, I actually have this spare boot. Now I don't have a bottom plate, but I can get it from this woody that I got uh, sent to me for help <laughs> when we needed it. So definitely helps with parts. We're gonna transfer the boot plate over. It should work out just the same We'll do an experiment and find out together. Sometimes they're glued on here, sometimes they're not. This particular model, it's a signature collection. This one is actually glued, which is actually not common for these. So I just have to pry it with my screwdriver so that I can pull it off just like that. And then we have released the boot. This is very important because we can hook it onto the new boot. So yeah, this boot is beyond repair because it's just so badly beat up. We have our brand new boot here that's in really mint condition now. We're gonna put this back over here because yeah, it snags really well there. So now we have a brand new boot. So now we just need to transfer a bottom boot plate. These are hit and miss. This is where things can go wrong very quickly if you don't know what you're doing. Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's, it's just, well, maybe it's not that I don't know what I'm doing. It's things can happen and you could ruin things. I'm just gonna, use my experience and knowledge you know slow as i can you just want to separate this in order to repair this woody i had to destroy the toy story 4 boots over here because i was having a lot of trouble so basically what the toy company did was they glued it with super glue which was really hard <laughs> so basically it took me i had to destroy the boot so i don't destroy the bottom plate to take it out because Toy Story 4 in 2019, they just started putting glue on everything. So the first boot attempt, I kind of scratched it up. So second one, a lot better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some super glue to be safe because I know this will snap in place and it'll probably stay, but because it might be thrown around and played with, I wanna guarantee it's not gonna fall apart later on. Please get the Gorilla Super Glue Gel. It works the best. I've used, I can't even tell you how many super glues I've been through. The ones that hold up, will be Gorilla Glue. And I noticed from the toy company, look, they actually put super glue on it too. Like it's just all glued. And the boots look awesome. And they match each other perfectly because it's from a, another collection boot and it looks really good. It's glued in there very well. It's gonna stay in there. It's the same size as the other one. It's just, you know, that's the biggest concern is like, if you pull on it, it's definitely not coming out. This is not gonna fall out. So I think that was successful. And yeah, it looks good. It, it definitely looks like more factory now again and it doesn't look like it was chewed up by a dog which is the most important part next up we have to do the hand swap so lucky for us i do have spare collection hands that we're going to replace it with i've done many hand swaps on my channel before so if you want to see a tutorial on how i do a hand swap you can just watch this video or you can go to my playlist or click the card here in the corner of your screen that'll take you to my hand swap videos because i do have i've done this actually many many times and you have to cut a little bit here a little hole so we can get to the zip tie so we can actually cut the zip tie and remove it all right so i've cut into it exposed the zip tie now we just connect the zip tie and you can see that the hand uh, comes right off so we definitely have to say goodbye to that i'm gonna string the zip tie in the pocket and i'll show you what that looks like it's always a little tricky to do and uh, make sure you have the right hand with the thumb this way because you don't want to have the wrong hands on the wrong sides now i gotta shove it back in appropriately this is why i don't like to mod woody it's very difficult sometimes and frustrating it can be so i'm going to close the zip tie like there and make sure you get it right around the groove where the hand turns because you're gonna lock it in place there so it doesn't fall out 
that's really, really important. So you wanna make sure you still have rotation, but make sure it's deep enough in that pocket, and then you keep pulling the zip tie until you can't pull it anymore. Once you give it a good tug, you'll know, okay, that's not coming out. You can cut the excess uh, off, and there you go. Now, as far as the button goes, it's sewn underneath the white plastic part that's broken off. I can't do that. That's something that's done in the factory. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna, I, you know, contrary to what I wanted to do, is just replace it with the same button. I'm not gonna be able to do that because I don't have a factory. I'm just doing everything by hand. So I'm gonna have to put one of my customized buttons on this. I'm gonna go with these little seam rippers. There we go, it's cut right off. And then I'm going to put the new button right on top here. If you want movie accurate buttons, I do sell them in my shop, todayagrip.com. You can go there and buy a set for yourself. They go great for Woody. I spent like eight months researching this to get the perfect button. You wanna stab it in and then I'm going to actually for this one, get a fastener and I'm going to reinforce it because I don't want it to come off at all. I can't really do this on camera because I need to concentrate, but I'll show you the final result. So you have rotation on the wrist, no problem. You can pull on it, it's not gonna fall back out. The button was a success, it's not gonna go anywhere. Even if you threw it around, it would survive. Just don't have a dog chew it again, <laughs> it'll be fine. I don't want to ruin the other buttons because they're in perfect condition, so why would I ruin a good thing? So I'm just doing a repair replacement. I think that looks fine. You're going from this to that, it is a huge night and day difference. So I'm glad it worked out and it looks good as new now. I happen to have a spare collection holster, so I'm gonna use this brand new condition one. The old one isn't bad. I feel like it's beyond cleaning because the red really rubbed off there. And even if I spot cleaned it, it's not gonna look as good. This is definitely an upgrade. And the piece broke off, but I have a spare part. And so the way it works is that you have this part go behind here. And that's actually what keeps it in place is that metal piece. It's actually two different pieces connected. Once it's fastened, you have that swing motion. There's kind of like this little cap piece and it was missing on this one. Luckily, I have another one and it does kind of snap in place. It is very fragile though. What I'm going to do is instead of just snapping it back because I'm worried it'll come out again, I'm going to use some Gorilla Glue Gel again to just kind of fasten that piece over. But this is more cosmetic more than stopping it. It's it's definitely more a cosmetic design because on its own, it, sh it wouldn't fall out. It would be fine once you connect it to the belt. But I want to put the cosmetic touch because that's what it's supposed to have. I got the little metal part underneath here. It was a little tricky to get that on. And now we're going to put our new holster piece on here. I'm going to push it underneath to make sure that we have a secure fastener back there. So there you have it, it's been repaired. Make sure that the metal is all the way in that pocket. Make sure that your fastener is snapped in and I would actually add some extra glue just in case. But you can see that it didn't affect the rotation and it's not gonna fall off at all. It's, it's basically I put it back together like how the factory sent it. And you'd be surprised, Thinkway Toys uses a lot of glue as I'm repairing things and putting things back together. I realized they use glue for like a lot of stuff, which is kind of crazy. You know, you don't, you wouldn't think that, but I'm just glad this worked out and I had the extra parts, like the fastener part. So, and it's like a brand new holster there. So it looks really nice. And yeah, this, this looks, this Woody's already been basically fully repaired at this point. Uh, the holster has been replaced. The button was replaced here, the hand was replaced, and also the boots have been replaced. I wanted to show you partners the behind the scenes aftermath of modding Woody. It, it definitely isn't fun sometimes and there's a lot of things you have to keep in mind and tools that you have to pull out. Modifying and fixing toys is not the easiest thing, but the final result is definitely worth it because out of all this craziness, we get something really nice and brand new looking again. So it was all worth the effort, especially because it's going to a special partner out there. I just really wanted to show you all the things I have to go through to pull these things off. It's not easy. And this Woody didn't really survive, but it had to be done to get Woody back in nice condition. Well, here it is, the final result. I think uh, Brady's gonna be very happy that his Woody is in brand new condition once again. Uh, everything has been removed, dirt, grime, from the vest, from the face. I think I'm very happy with that, that the vinegar water solution worked on that. Everything else was already good on the body, just the vest was cleaned up a bit. 
Also cleaned up the belt a little bit. We've added a brand new holster there on the side, including the button that was missing the silver detail right there. The hand has been fully repaired, so that's great. New button. We went from this chewed up boot to a really nice looking boot. Wow, what a difference, guys. Definitely a lot better and nice to have the holster back on. Huge shout out to Ashley and her son, Brady. Thank you so much for letting me be part of your journey. I could fix up your Woody, repair it. Have fun with it, partner. Hope it brings you a lot of joy. And as always, partners, thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you'd like you to continue to support me on this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're later for your future videos on this channel. And I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're a, no, you're an accent figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child's plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.